Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie the Madam X. This fly was created by Doug Swisher in the 1980s. It's a very versatile attractor type dry fly and can imitate many different things. A grasshopper in the largest sizes or maybe a golden stone fly in the smaller sizes. I typically see the fly tied in sizes 6 through 12. Here's the fly in the vise. The hook we're going to use today is a Mustad R43. This one's in uh, size 10, and it's a uh, three extra long, one extra fine dry fly hook. The thread we'll use today is going to be Danville 6 aught in yellow. We'll start the tie by getting the thread started about two eye lengths behind the hook eye and wrap back to the bend of the hook. Give us a foundation for our body materials. Wrap back forward to where we started. We'll tie in our first material, which is going to form the tail. So we'll cut a small clump from our patch of deer hair here. Probably about the third of a pencil width. You don't want too much here. We'll clean out the fuzzies. Get it in our stacker. We can even up the tips. We want this tail to be about a hook gap in length. So we'll measure that out. Once we've got the length established, we're gonna transfer the hair from one hand to the other like so. And right where the tie-in point is, we're going to cut off the deer hair. Wrap through those bitter ends like so. That's going to help anchor this hair to the hook shank and prevent it from turning around the shank. Now hanging on to the deer here, we're going to make some fairly open turns, not overly tight, all the way back to the bend of the hook. When we get there, come forward, let go of the deer hair. Now we can make some tighter turns. Get rid of that a couple of little long hairs there so they don't show through the floss. Okay, the next material we're going to tie in is going to be the bond material. That's going to be Beavis floss in yellow. Doesn't want to cut, there's no tension on it. There we are. Okay, we're going to tie this floss in about two eye lengths behind the eye. And I like to tie it in on the near side of the hook. Bring our thread back forward to the starting point. Put in a couple of whip finishes to save our work. We'll use the rotary vise function to do the body. Bring our cradle forward to get our bobbin and thread out of the way. Mind the hook point. If you catch that with this floss, it really makes a mess. Just 
just make overlapping turns. Take your time. Work all the way back up to the beginning tie-in point. Once you're there, tie that off. Cut our excess. Neaten that up a bit. I'll run your thread all the way up to right behind the hook eye where we tie in our next material which is going to form the wing of the fly and the head. We'll cut another small clump of deer hair similar to the first, about a third of a pencil width. Strip out all the fuzzies. Get it in the stacker. Now we're going to tie this in in the opposite direction. These points are going to be towards the eye of the hook. We want this wing to be just shy of the overall length of the fly and the tail. So about there. Make a couple of turns, tighten it down to, whoops, that never happened before not. See if we can save that. Start bringing our thread back to the point where the head is actually going to start. Breaking that thread really complicated things a little bit, but I think we can clean it up. Now we'll just go around and clean up all these little short pieces. Tidy this up a bit. Make sure we're all the way up to that eye, like so. Now we're going to fold the head back. You can use a drinking straw, a piece of clear plastic tubing like so. I like the clear plastic tubing because I can see that the hair is straight. Or you can just use your fingers like this, push everything back. Kind of pull the hair up a little bit with your hands to keep it off of the bottom of the fly. And you can make couple of light wraps and see how things are looking. Except for a couple of little flyers there, which we're going to get rid of. Doesn't look too bad. Pull it tighter. It'll flare the hair out. As you make your turns, make your turns forward towards the eye of the hook. That's going to tighten the head up for you, like so. Got a couple of short ones here. There we go. Like 
That looks good. And the last thing we're going to tie in is going to be the legs. It's just uh, some simple hairline, medium round rubber legs in white. Cut off a couple of two inch strips or so. I tie those in on either side, right behind the head. A few loose turns so that you can position them where you want them. like that. She turns to anchor everything down. And I cut the front legs about, oh, three quarters of an inch long. It's probably pretty close to half a hook shank in length. And the back ones, just a tad longer than the tail. pretty good. Find our whip finish tool. Do a four or five turn whip finish. Seat the knot. Cut our thread. I like to add a little bit of UV resin. I'm using here a Loon UV Clear Thin. This adds a little longevity to the fly, I think. The deer hair is really fragile. Quick shot with the light. One little fuzzy I can see. And there we have it. Feel free to add comments at the bottom of the page. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get all the latest videos from Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again next time.